Nobel Prize update story, engage. This is the week of Nobel, a week where daily accolades are presented to a slew of incredibly brilliant humans whose work reverberates through our daily lives without most of us even realizing. The winners receive a gold medal, a diploma, and a cash prize right around $1.1 million or so. Sweet! There are six categories, physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, peace, and economic sciences. Since 1901, 561 of these bad boys have been handed out. That's some elite company. Other quick fun facts. The youngest winner ever was 25-year-old Lawrence Bragg for physics in 1915. Oldest, 90-year-old Leonid Hurwitz in 2007 for economic sciences. 45 women have won a prize and two humans have declined a Nobel. And another four were forced to decline their prize by their countries. Nazi Germany, Soviet Union, moving on. So far, three of the six Nobel awards have been handed out this week, medicine, physics, and chemistry. On Monday, John O'Keefe, May Britt Moser, and Edward I. Moser victoriously screamed at the heavens while standing on a mountain of corpses composed of sad individuals that used to be their peers when they were awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine. The collective work of these three smarties resulted in giant steps in the further understanding of our complicated brains. The one sentence description of their brilliant complex life's work that makes it kind of relatable and understandable to the everyday man is they basically discovered a GPS-like system in the hippocampus. It's a tom-tom in your tinker and the discovery of this gray matter garment guider has helped scientists better understand the formation of memories related to time, place, and experience as well as certain aspects of Alzheimer's. Cool! On Tuesday, the Nobel Prize for Physics was bequeathed to American Suji Nakamura and Usami Akasaki and Hiroshi Amano of Japan for inventing blue light LEDs that shine bright like a diamond. This was a pretty big deal back in the early 1990s because red and green diodes were achieved, but nobody could get those pesky blue light diodes to exist. And as a result, white light diodes also did not exist. But these guys figured it out and revolutionized a lot of crap. We're talking your attention stealing smartphone and computer screens as well as light bulbs that last for frickin' ever. Potentially saving the world a buttload of electricity and waste. Thanks guys, you positively impacted the world with your lives while I make internet videos about how you positively impacted the world with your lives. And now we move on to the prize for chemistry. Did you know that we have microscopes powerful enough to allow us to peeping Tom on proteins and fertilized eggs and other stuff on the cellular level? Well, we do. And that's because of people like Eric Betzig, Stefan W. Hell, and William E. Moore. These guys turned the power of the microscope up to 11 and opened up the nano world to our pitiful human eyes. We can see individual molecules because of these achievements. The importance can't be overstated. They changed the game in health, biology, chemistry, disease, everything. We understand the way this works a lot more because of these guys. Awesome! Tomorrow we'll see the Nobel Prize for Literature awarded. Friday will be all about peace. And Monday we'll surprise some lucky individual or individuals with the Economic Sciences Prize. Stay tuned. Guys, Guys, what's the coolest thing that you've ever seen in a microscope? Let us know in the comments down below. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the annotation for more source fed. I'm Joe Beretta. Bye.